when material possessions get damaged, they can be replaced. But what about when it's our physical eyes? That's a different situation for most people. The damage that can occur can be long term. And the suffering is devastating on an individual and their loved ones. I remember one of my siblings that had a very difficult marriage a physical verbal and mental abuse and the time that I would see her or even have conversations I could feel Her pain. You could hear it in her voice. You could hear it in the words that she conveyed. And even to this day, it's still present. Decades later, How someone can damage another person's life. How many children have been damaged? Young girls and boys. Young girls and boys that are teenagers, young adults, and adults have been damaged. Too many women have experienced damage from the hands of a man. A man that was created in the image and likeness of God. Ripping their lives apart. Causing them to not see God is. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 49, verse 15, Isaiah writes, Can a mother forget the baby at her breast and have no compassion on the child she has born? Though she may forget, I will not forget you. God would never forget the women who have been damaged. God understands your pain. He created you. And he loves you. And he wants you to be prepared for his kingdom. We know that women who become mothers and how attached they are with their children from birth until they leave this world. Their children will always be their babies. Only women know the feeling in that connection. God knows there are women, many hurting women that have been damaged in more ways that we care to admit.
and he wants you to be prepared for everlasting life. He can repair this damage. He can give you the spiritual foundation to direct your life, to give you the hope where the world fails to deliver. The time is right now to anchor your damaged soul for the Lord to make it whole again so that you are on the right journey that leads to everlasting life.